Have you ever been excited to use a new library in your .NET project only to be hit with a confusing error? It can be really frustrating, right? If that's you, then you're in the right place. Today, we're gonna to tackle the issue of HTTP client existing in multiple libraries and show you exactly how to resolve it. I totally understand how annoying it is when you just wanna get your project up and running, but instead, you're faced with conflicts that seem impossible to resolve. You're definitely not alone in this. Many developers encounter similar issues when working with .NET Core. Here's the specific situation we're looking at. One user recently asked, how do I resolve the conflict between HTTP client and system.net.http and net standard? They provided their project file and the error message they received. Sound familiar? If so, let's dive into this together and find a solution. So what could be causing this conflict? The issue arises because both system.net.http and net standard define the HTTP client type leading to ambiguity. This can happen when your project references multiple libraries that depend on different versions of the same assembly. We'll break it down step by step so you can understand how to fix it. And don't go anywhere. I've got a crucial tip at the end that will help you avoid similar issues in the future. To resolve the conflict with HTTP client, the user should first check the project file for any unnecessary references. It's important to ensure that only the required packages are included. Next, the user should consider updating the target framework. Changing the target framework to .NET Core or .NET 5 can help avoid conflicts with NET standard. After updating the target framework, the user should restore the NuGet packages. This ensures that all dependencies are correctly aligned with the new framework. Finally, the user should rebuild the project to confirm that the conflict has been resolved. This step will help ensure that all changes are applied correctly. Did you know? The HT client class was introduced in .NET Framework 4.5, and it has become a staple for making HTTP requests in .NET applications. It's amazing how one class can cause so much confusion. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative solution from another user involves adding a configuration file to resolve the HTTP client conflict. They suggest redirecting to a specific version of system.net.http, choosing between version 2.0 or 4.1. Let's take a look at an answer from another user. An alternative approach to resolve the HTTP client conflict involves a workaround. First, locate your global NuGet package location using the command .NET NuGet Locals All L. Next, edit the identity model package's new spec file to change the target framework to NET Standard 2.0 and remove the dependency on system.net.http. Finally, run .NET Restore and .NET Build to complete the process. Here's the crucial tip I promised. Always keep your libraries updated and check for compatibility issues before adding new packages. This habit can save you a lot of headaches down the road. And there you have it. You should now have a clearer understanding of how to resolve the HTTP client conflict in your .NET project. Remember, keeping your libraries updated is key. If you found this helpful, hit the subscribe button for more tips. And don't miss our bonus tip on managing dependencies effectively.